am a huge fan of leather goods, so I'd like to talk about some differences and trends that are going on here in Japan and the US regarding men's leather accessories. First, let's talk wallets. Long wallets are very popular here in Japan. Long wallets allow you to simply place bills inside without having to fold them at all. Japanese bills are larger than US bills, which means that long wallets sold here in Japan are quite sizable. Many Japanese men keep their long wallets in the breast pocket of their jacket, uh, their suit jacket, which is no problem, but I do see many Japanese men keep their wallets in the back pocket of their pants, their jeans, which looks really uncomfortable and could perhaps even cause some back trouble down the road. So why are long wallets so popular here in Japan? Well, many Japanese men believe that money has a soul and that taking care of money or bills brings luck and fortune down the road. Many people don't like folding their bills and as a result, bills are very clean. They don't have creases. In contrast, Americans have zero qualms about folding their bills multiple times, crumpling them up, or drawing a mustache and a goatee on George Washington president on the $1 US bill. Despite Japan being a very technologically advanced country, people still heavily rely on cold, hard cash. In fact, there are many places here in Japan that still don't accept credit cards. In contrast, the US is becoming a cash-free society. People are carrying very little or no cash and instead carrying credit cards because these can be used almost uh, anywhere. So the recent trend in the US is minimalist wallets. Uh, people carry a few business cards, ID, uh, and a folded up uh, bill or two. They can keep the wallets even in the front pocket of their jeans and hardly feel it's there because the footprint is just so small. The US minimalist wallet bug has bitten me. So my wallet only has three card slots. Inside I carry an ID, my gym card, and two train passes. Occasionally I'll carry a folded up bill. Yes, I should perhaps treat my bills more like the Japanese. Now let's move on to men's bags. In the US, many men prefer messenger bags, and these always have shoulder straps. These bags can be worn either crossbody or on one shoulder, with the exception of a few industries which require business dress code. I'd say most people in the US workforce wear casual to business casual attire and messenger bags can match these styles. And almost all Americans have cars, so they're not really lugging their bags around that much. So if they wanted to, they could even carry their bags uh, simply by hand. In Japan, I constantly see men carry bags by hand. These bags don't have any shoulder straps at all. Compared with Americans, Japanese are lugging their bags all around town because they rely upon not cars, but transportation by train and subway. So I would imagine that the Japanese would need their shoulder straps even more than Americans, but this isn't the case. Yes, wearing a bag cross-body or on one shoulder uh, can perhaps wrinkle a freshly 
iron suit or tie, or perhaps make you appear less of a fashionista. But personally for me, I really like being hands-free. Uh, commuting by train here in Japan, uh, we use commuter passes and we tap into the turnstile with these passes and having my hands both available uh, to get access to my pockets uh, makes this process just really smooth. So there you have some differences between men's fashion goods in Japan and the US. Which style do you prefer and why? Your comments are welcome. Hello everyone, Selena here. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please share this and subscribe to our Kitaku Ego channel.